Okay, here's another trick. We create an angle and this trick, which we can also do with the compass, will enable us to cut that angle in half. Even if we can't actually measure what the angle is, we're still going to be able to cut it in half. So here we go. That pen's getting a bit cranky. So there's our angle. And my guess is we're probably looking at about a 30 degree angle. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to park myself in the corner of the angle and I'm going to draw myself an arc here. Out there. And then what I'm going to do is go to that intersection point. These are called construction marks, by the way. Uh, and you leave them in to show how you came about something. And so now I'm going to go to the other intersection point and I'm going to go like that. Now, I'm actually going to go back to this one because I, what I, is important to me is where they cross over. So what I do is I grab my ruler, I run it from the corner to the point where they cross over and I draw a line through there with my ruler. And that is exactly cutting that angle in half. No matter what that angle is, I've just cut it in half. So what we might do is actually try that with a bigger angle, just to see if it works, because it was pretty obvious there that that worked okay. But let's see if it works on something larger. In fact, let's see if it works on something greater than 90 degrees, on an obtuse angle. I haven't tested this before, so I might be in for a nasty surprise here. So, I'm going to grab my protractor. It's not a protractor, sorry, it's a compass. I always get those confused. I'm drawing my arc. Perhaps not as nice as I would have liked. And because I'm not sure where these are going to intersect, I'm going to give myself a nice, a nice big arc there. And again, I go here. Give myself a nice big one, although I didn't really need it. And there we go. So I'm going to draw a line from the corner through that intersection point. And in actual fact, I would say that it is fairly clear that that is half that angle too. So that will work for acute and obtuse triangles. So there you go. That is how we construct an angle bisector, how we cut an angle in half.